Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dalia de la O. I'm a professional Latin dancer and I specialize in salsa and bachata. Today we're starting our three week salsa food work challenge. We're gonna be doing a series of seven to eight elements per week. Believe me you guys, this is gonna help you tremendously to create a great foundation when you're ready to move on to the fancier stuff. It's gonna help you with the coordination, the musicality, and it's gonna help you also be faster when you need to think and improvise on the dance floor. So, if you're ready for this, what do you need to do? Well, you just need to do this for the rest of the week so you're ready to move on with us to the next level next week. So today is level number one out of three week challenge for salsa footwork beginners let's do it all right welcome to level number one uh, we're going to do it in two different angles we go first here and then here so you can copy me in both uh, i'm going to do only the guy's footwork meaning starting with the left ladies you can practice along with us for you it's super easy because it's just the opposite mirror so once you are dancing with a partner you know you need to start with the right leg but it doesn't hurt to practice with us with the left all right so let's do it to the music four repetitions each we're going to do the whole song <music>
we did it. And if you still have questions, that's why you're here. This is going to be just a quick breakdown of the elements, only because we already have uh, this video that you can look at. Um, in this video, we have everything detailedly explained, so I'm just going to go as quick as possible. I'm going to turn around so you can follow along. For element number one, we have the basic in place. Basically, we just go stepping in place. Remember, the count for salsa is one, two, three, five, six, seven, which means we don't count the four and the eight because we hold, okay? So when we do it in place, I'm going to turn around. It's exactly the same concept. Starting with the left, we go one, two, three. We hold on four and then we go five, six, seven. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right. Moving on to element number two, which is the basic going forward and back. Super simple. We start with the rock step going forward. Remember, a rock step is when we step one direction and then switch weight to the other leg or switch directions. Let's start with the left going forward. We go forward, back, close your feet and then back, forward, close your feet. With the count, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, eight. All right, element number three, we have the cucaracha or side basic. Again, we keep the concept of the rock steps throughout the whole salsa dancing. So we step one direction, switch weight, and close your feet. Step, switch, close. So we go one, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, next element, which is the open break. In reality, we're not really going to be using this element uh, as is for our dancing, but it's preparing us to step back when we are always used to step forward. Make sense? So we do have this step back in a lot of the occasions, but not necessarily the combination of both going back. You know what I mean? But let's practice it, okay? So we're here. Starting with the left, we go back. So rock step back and then forward, close. Now with the right, back, forward, close, okay? Please make sure I'm going to do it facing this direction so you see what I'm talking about. The most common mistake is putting the heel all the way down and your weight all the way to the heel. Remember we talked about this in a different video. So if you're not aware of this, go ahead and take a look. Um, you should always keep your weight towards your toes. Yes, I'm not saying your heel is not touching the floor. Yes, do touch the floor because then you're going to be confused with the change of weight. But do not put your weight all the way because then you're going to waste time. It's going to look ugly and you're going to lose your balance. Okay, so we're here and then we go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, so moving on to the next element, which is the cumbia step, is super similar to the open break. But in this occasion, we're opening our body diagonally, yes? So instead of going straight back like we did in the open break, we're opening our whole body to the next wall or diagonally, whatever you decide to do. So we go, again, same concept of rock step, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Do not let your weight go all the way to the heels. All right, next one. Okay, for the next element, we have the right turn, yes? The right turn also, we have it detailedly explained in this video if you happen to have issues understanding it right now. So let's go ahead and explain it really quick. We have half uh, actually, we start right into it. We start right into the turn. So three steps, three steps to turn around. Remember, right now, this is my front. So I'm going to have to come back 
to face Dahlia dance in three steps. I go forward, back towards you, and I pivot a lot on this leg, on the right leg, on the ball of my foot. And then I close and finish with the five, six, seven of the basic. Five, six, seven. Let's try it one more time because this one is a little bit tricky. So we go one, two, pivot, step three, five, six, seven. Sometimes I teach it in a different way, cheating a little bit. Let me do it again so you can see it, yeah? Just to um, start cheating your way into the turn. So instead of stepping forward, you can step to this wall. So your wall to the right, you go one, and then you go two, yes, three, five, six, seven. All right, so again, if you are a little bit confused, you can look at this video. I promise you it's going to make more sense once you look at it. All right, so for the last element, which is the left turn, let's go ahead and review that. We start with the left, yes? So we start chinning our way into the left, yes? Um, so we go. You see how I like opening my toes? Do you see that? Because I know that I want my body to go that direction. So I go one, two, three. By three, I already created half of the turn. Yes? So on five, six, seven, I have three steps to create the other half of the turn. So we go five, six, seven. One more time. I go one, two, three. I'm looking at you because that's half of my turn, 180. And then I go step forward with the right, step forward, then step forward with the left as I create the other half of turn and step. Let's do it all the way throughout. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, guys, so that was a quick breakdown for you. Remember, this is only two minute song. I am sure you can do this too, uh, either the same song or your favorite song. Just do it every day and the full length of the song is going to make a big difference. Three, four minutes that you put into your practice make a big difference, I promise you. Do it for the rest of the week, and then next week you'll see what's waiting for you. <laughs> All right, so see you next week. Thank you so much for everything. Remember, if you like my videos, don't forget to show some love by liking and subscribing to my channel, and also don't forget to click on the notification button so you will not miss a thing. And if you think this video can be helpful for someone else, remember sharing is caring. So share with your friends too. Thank you guys. See you next week for level number two.